is the Apple Watch Ultra really as durable as they say it is? And how well does it stack up against other popular smartwatches? Today, I'm gonna to be putting my own wallet on the line with a series of five tests. We're going from easy to outright destruction. And if any of these tests render a watch totally dead, then they're out. And if you think this test is pointless, because of course the Apple Watch Ultra is gonna win, well, I wonder how far we can actually push the most rugged and capable Apple Watch ever. Starting off with... Now these watches are all water resistant to a certain extent and rather than leave them in a pot of like, clear tap water for a few hours, I'm gonna sink them to the bottom of my hot tub and leave them for a full 24 hours to see if they all survive. In they go. Now a hot tub has quite a number of chemicals in them to keep the water clean from chlorine and bromine to the chemicals needed to balance the pH and alkalinity of the water. It's basically the same as leaving your watch in a swimming pool. 24 hours later, Galaxy Watch, fine. Pixel Watch, also fine. Apple Watch, uh, battery's dead, but seems fine. Now watches in their inherent nature are designed to be able to survive daily like scuffs and scratches from, you know, the clothes that you wear. But I've owned watches that have had some pretty decent scratches in them. So I'm hopeful that these latest generation watches will be much tougher. So here is a key, here is a watch. Now I'm putting a fair bit of pressure onto the pixel here. Very, very good. There's only really, I can barely even see that on the screen there. So as far as the pixel goes, Absolutely fine. Onto the Galaxy Watch 5. I'm very impressed. I thought these were gonna really, really scratch. So the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Absolutely no sign that I've scratched it with a key. Wow, okay. Now, Apple Watch Ultra. Wow, I am genuinely surprised at all of these watches. Just goes to show that the uh, Gorilla Glass, is it Gorilla Glass and all three of them? And the Apple Watch, not the scratch, I am genuinely surprised with all three of those results. Now, something we all do once in a while is go to the beach. So how do these watches handle that gritty sand that always gets into places that it shouldn't? I'm going to be looking for two things here. Firstly, if the sand has damaged the watches in any way, any scratches to the casing or the screen. And secondly, I'm looking for crunch. How much sand gets in all the nooks and crannies and crevices of each watch because nobody wants a sandy crevice. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's do this without getting sand on my desk. So firstly, Pixel Watch is pretty good. So Pixel Watch, there is some sand underneath the crown it feels, but still works. It's a little bit crunchy, but I imagine that is just gonna wash out if you give it a rinse under the tap. So Pixel Watch, all good, no scratches. Galaxy Watch, strangely the sand has stuck to the Galaxy Watch like nothing else, wow. There's no visible scratches that I can see. It has just got everywhere in this watch. There are actually some light scratches on the side of the watch on the outer casing, so uh, that looks like it was caused by the sand. Buttons will work, and uh, once I check the Apple Watch, I'm gonna rinse all of these under the tap and just make sure that there's nothing else. Apple Watch Ultra now, and the screen, absolutely pristine. There's no scratches or marks on the screen whatsoever. There's some light scratching on the back casing there on the inside. However, the thing with the Apple Watch Ultra is that all of these tiny little details, the uh, the speaker grill here is absolutely covered in sand. You can see there's also sand modules all around the action buttons. So that's stuck in there as well. There's, a, I think those are the microphones. Also sand wedged in the microphones all around the watch, apart from this side. So let's see what the crown's gonna do actually. The crown is, oh, that's, that sounds horrible. But just for good measure, I'm gonna go and wash all of these very quickly just to do one final check. Back in a moment. A few moments later. Okay, we are back. I have washed out the Apple Watch, the Galaxy Watch, and the Pixel Watch. All of them have survived the sand without problems. Next up is the freezing test. Now, we all know that many watches can survive like freezing temperatures from the extremely low temperatures we see in other countries, but how do you think they will fare when frozen in a block of ice? So this isn't just a test for whether they can stand freezing temperatures, but because they're being placed in water, which can make its way into every tiny gap in the watch, and because when water freezes, it actually expands in volume by about 9%, it's gonna really test how well built these watches are. Okay, so it's 24 hours later, let's see the results. Before they start melting, let's just see what is going on exactly. I'm gonna put them in the little pot here just so the water doesn't get everywhere. Let's just take the, uh, I've got an infrared temperature sensor here. So they are minus five. The Apple Watch is definitely working because <laughs> you can see it through here. Dare I say, can we pull the Apple Watch out? Come on. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Apple Watch survived. The Pixel Watch? 
It's flashing away, so I'm guessing. The Pixel Watch survived as well. Whoa! Not sure the screen. Oh no, the screen's on. Yep, the screen's on as well. And let's take out the Galaxy Watch, which will. We have to use a slightly larger. Um... Is the Galaxy Watch still working? I'm not seeing any lights. Nope, no lights. That is not very reassuring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these down on a plate, probably in here, going to let them defrost. We're going to maybe see if the Galaxy Watch 5 is out, or maybe it just needs a battery charge because I've noticed in a few of these challenges where the temperature changes so quickly that the, um, obviously it kills the battery because it's going from like fully charged to suddenly freezing cold and it drains the battery. So let's see what happens after they're uh, defrosted. <laughs> Okay, so from testing the durability in cold to testing the opposite ends. Now the hottest place on earth hits 50 degrees centigrade. So to imitate that, I'm gonna pop them in the oven and warm them up to see how well they actually survive. Now, since my oven doesn't really do 50 degrees because it's so low, I'm gonna set it as low as it can go and use this thermal camera to decide when they've reached temperature. Then carefully remove them and test them again to see how they work, aside from the fact they'll obviously be very, very hot, of course. That's the very hot to touch. Okay, so we've got them out of the oven. The Pixel Watch has started back up again. That's been fine. It was just cooling down for a few minutes. The Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, again, that's cooling down, but it's still working. And the Apple Watch Ultra is absolutely fine. On with the next one. But what if you take a fall? And what if you are more adventurous than I am and you smash your watch on a rock? Well, to simulate this, we are going to try throwing these watches from a second story window onto hard concrete and see if they actually survive. And the last time I did this with a phone, it did not go well. <laughs> Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, that sounds horrible. Three, two, one. Pixel Watch. Few scratches, but still working. Absolutely fine. Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, still working. That's good. And there is, oh, there's a big chunk taken out the side of that one. Nice, but still works, absolutely fine. And finally, Apple Watch Ultra. Screen, absolutely fine, but, oh, there is a, again, another chunk taken out on the side there and on the corner here as well. That must've been where it landed on that edge. But yeah, survived, so pretty good going. On to the next challenge. And if that wasn't enough, what about running over your watch with a two ton electric car? I'm not actually sure what test this simulates other than dropping your watch in front of a car, but um, it will definitely be a testament if any of them survive. Now, my only expectation is I'll be paying a visit to the Apple store very, very soon. <laughs> Here we go. In three, two, one. Go! Well, Pixel Watch is gone, Galaxy Watch is gone, Apple Watch has gone. So interestingly, on all three watches, the outside screen survived. It's actually the underneath, the bit that sits on your palm, that absolutely got trashed. Well, looks like I just broke over $1,000 in watches. Off to buy some more. <laughs>